Hey, welcome everybody to Battle Pirates Crib. Uh, we're going to be talking about pillage, uh, some of the prizes, and probably talk a lot about next pillage. <laughs> so, because uh, um, that'll be more more interesting. So, hope everybody loves the 170 target. So, let's say hello to everybody. Magic Mike. Hello, everybody. Peg leg. Ooh, pillage we must. Points are go bust. <laughs> what was the last part? Points are go bust. Yes, they're very good. Where a flagship awaits at the pearly gates. <laughs> Yoda is rhyming like he's doing a time. <laughs> Ready? And Derpy, how are you? I was pretty good until socialism showed up till Battle Pirates. <laughs> got socialism here now, I'm telling you. <laughs> how is that? It's uh, we'll we'll talk about it in pillage. I'm sure we'll we'll get uh, to it. Uh, oh, you're talking about the lab upgrades. I'm assuming. All yeah, right, it's socialism. Okay, alrighty. But you still got to pay for it, but alrighty, let's move ahead. All right, this is an issue that's been going on for a long time, and I, I think they've told us they fixed it a few times. Where if you put in a slash code or whatnot, and you have a hall currently building, the hall that you're currently building is still there, but it changes your specials, weapons, and armor. Um, I don't really use that that often. Um, and does anybody recall it being fixed before? I recall it being broken before. I haven't heard of it being fixed before. Okay. Okay. It's a good move if it works. It's, you know, for those that are big into, you know, using the slash codes and and whatnot. Um, I don't really use them that much because I don't, I rarely build a whole ship at a time. Um, just through uh, an old habit because things used to change a lot, you know. So, and we get new information. So I would build a day or two at a time, time it out so it's, you know, a point in the day where I know I'm going to be available and uh, do that. So if there's nothing else on bug fixes, I guess we can move forward. All right. We are in pillage. We have Blood, Fr Blood Frenzy and Feral Beast as well. Uh, last week we had the... Um, Reclaimer and Ravager TLCs that if you didn't do them and you were, you could and you're not a next one, you probably wanted to do once we start seeing pillage and what's going to happen in the future. Uh, we have the Dark Omens Raid next week, um, which is going to give you uh, the Lionfish and um, which and uh, whatever the attack is that goes with it. Yes, it's it's rocket components, explosive <laughs> rocket components. UAVs, UAVs, UAVs. No, I you know. Um, don't listen to Derpy here. He is just trying to uh, throw you off. If you've been watching the show and know that he promised to buy me a, uh, a ship if it was a penetrative garrison hall. So no, uh, to be technical, if it was a missile. No, no, no. I'm not I, I said, I, I meant to say if it was a missile hole, but I actually said penetrative because he used that word in between me forming the thought and saying it out loud, yeah. which I think invalidates the entire thing. No, I don't think not, so. Not that I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay. All righty. And we have the whole the line TLC, which is worth doing for the three day, um, three, three day defensive platform uh, tokens. Then we have the FM, and then yada, yada, yada. Uh, foreboding TLC's TLC will provide you upgrade kits and uh, upgrade tokens and build tokens for your uh, Harbinger. Um, and we have Bounty. So uh, any more thoughts on the calendar? I would okay. love it if they told us what ships so you put pillage comma reclaimer slash everest or siege slash garrison if you want to get that specific or that yeah. non-specific but this it's it needs a little bit of work i think 
Yeah, and that's what I was going to talk about as far as um, next pillage. Uh, once we see the the uh, August calendar, are we going to see uh, ever slash reclaim, reclaimer, or are we going to see lionfish slash reclaimer? Um, that will be that will be the interesting part. And um, I don't think it matters. You should be going to lionfish anyway. But they should also tell us. So uh, there's that. Yeah, yeah, they should tell us. Um, okay, and um, there's nothing else on the calendar. Um, yeah, same with TLCs. Yeah, well, the TLCs. Yeah, they've. I've gotten them. If you look at the most recent ones, I've gotten a um, CM to at least on some of them. I keep on trying to remind to tell us what ships we need in the briefing um, because a lot of times it's like, oh, go win this, but it doesn't tell you what ships you need in order to accomplish it until it actually pops up live. It would be, it would be useful to have in the calendar as well, though. I do agree. All right, pillage. All right, let's see what pillage has in store for us. All right, we have a new target. Um, the Siege 160. Uh, which 170. Is that, it's a 170. Hmm. In the just, brief just so you know. Okay. I didn't... Uh, briefing's wrong? No, I don't believe it. Yeah, the briefing's <laughs> wrong. Okay. I made the slides before the, uh, the game, actually, or the, uh, it actually became live, so I guess it's a 170. It's 160 in the briefing. Um, so... Uh, I don't know. Too late. No, it does say yeah. 170 on the locator. Yeah, but it says 160 in the briefing. Yes, believe yeah. me. Okay, and um, <clears throat> it is a neat, concise target. doesn't take much time. If you are X1 and are able to drive it um, correctly, uh, it, you're either instant repair in the water or damn close to it. Um, and like I was saying earlier, this will be around next month as well, the Reclaimer, but there's no guarantee on the Everest. So, uh, you know, there's a good chance the Everest gets moved down to the, the Praetorian uh, slot in regards to points. And we'll still have the Gladius there. Hopefully that's not the case, but based on past history, it would not surprise me. And I really hope it's not the same target, because if you're getting 50 some damage, 50 some uh, minutes of damage uh, on auto, it seems out of place. Um, you know, because right, you know, if you're doing the uh, the siege target for, you know, I've got it down to like three and a half minutes, and oh, then that's that's 50 minutes damage of, with, with the Everest target. If you have a U3 X1 fleet. If you're hitting the lower tier target, you probably don't have a U3X1 fleet, so it will be worse than that. Okay. Yeah, I'm just saying it, it, I don't know how they're going to adjust it. It just feels like it should not be the same uh, difficulty of target if it gets moved down to the to the uh, the B target level. And to that end, just to point out that they are offering Everest upgrade tokens as prizes in these things. So if you got the free fleet. And haven't upgraded it at all, earn some points, get the upgrade tokens, get your fleet up to like U2 at least. U1, nah, U2, whatever. That's too much free. Well, you know. Good to have for people who want to do that. The opportunity is there if you're playing from behind. <laughs> okay, there you go. If you don't have if you don't have the top fleet, you only have the free one, yeah. Definitely go for it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um I can hit one of those uh, 170 targets if you'd like. Sure. Might be good to... I've actually only autoed them so far, so this will be uh, useful. Yeah. If uh, we load in in time. Oh, it's got a minute load time. That's great. My yeah. expert driving just gave me seven and a half minutes, so I'm not the one to show it. <sighs> So I'm just going to do this how I think I remember doing it and tank one ship a little bit. I actually think I, it's not, 
I remember what I did. One of these ships is faster than the others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know why you let it out like that. Yeah. And it, it, I didn't even use the right ship. And I should probably stop <laughs> here and let the let this Farsight turret kill that support building. It's dead. Yeah. Yeah, and this is actually a new target, at least the top uh, quarter of it. The top, yeah. This bit uh, right yeah. here we've seen before. Yeah, 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 yeah. I probably should have let that kill it. Oh, well. Yes, you should. If yeah, you want yeah. low damage, yeah. you want to take your time and let that take care of business. Yeah, and I would have gone to the south, southern, or I would have gone to the uh, the western route on that island as well. And, uh, yeah, there's... Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's, oh, geez, these turrets are invisible. <laughs> it's, it's, it's ballistic turrets and orange... Uh, orange uh, no, there was, there was one turret in the... One of those turrets in the target that I I missed every single time I went by it. it took ten tries before I remembered. Yeah, there's there's a black turret on a black background. Now I've hit three of these before, and they've all been instant base repair on auto. So we'll see what this one is. Eight minutes, so it looks like I gotta I gotta keep working on it. But um, yeah, using using the same build I've had with the one ship that's slightly faster, so it goes out ahead. That's with the D5 EV Spore, and uh, things over there. Anyway, so what really uh, annoys me is that I'm six points short of two twenty k. You because the turrets kill things in the target, and it does damage to itself. You don't get the full points, which I think they should have had the base payout be 5,002, so we actually got 5,000 at the end. But that's just me. I guess if the worst thing is that you end up a point or two short of and they accumulate, you have to get one extra one to compensate for yeah. it. Yeah. Not exactly. the end of the world, but... Well, it, was yeah. awesome. it wasn't great in, um, in the beach party because you couldn't retreat. It wasn't like you could go in there and just get a couple points and walk out. Right. You know, um, and some of these targets before, when we've seen them, I guess in the raid, if you hit them fast enough, you actually got one or two points more. But this one, it seems impossible. I've tried to run this as fast. I, as I saw one. My third favorite moderator got uh, got five thousand. <laughs> okay. Um, do you want to? Uh, since I, I'm not sure that was a blueprint that we should uh, work from, did you want to try it? Try that again, Derpy. Now that you know where the turrets are, I can I can see if I can do that again. Yeah, okay. that should be possible. I remember okay. how I built my fleet. Okay. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna wait and let these things shoot each other. No, not yet. No, no, no. You go in there. You take out this group. You go up around that because it's gonna kill that aura. You go up around and then you wait. What aura? I don't know what you're talking about. The aura that just disappeared when you. Killed I don't believe you. There wasn't anything there. Okay, so one, two. Now you can start moving on three. Do I go trigger this guy? Yeah, yeah. You go straight, go down. And with full X one, you should be able to keep this alive. If you don't, you probably this turret will probably die. Yeah, I mean, it used to die before with X1, so okay, so now, yeah, go down. And if this from this point on, I just use waypoints. I click. I'm zoomed the, in, so I'm not going to do that, but okay. yeah. Or I can zoom out and go by these guys. And then go all the way up to the top. Yeah. Well, you didn't need to do that one. No. I, I just put a few to make sure we actually go places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that one right there is probably extra, but whatever. Yeah, I'm not sure if it causes you more or less damage, but uh, yeah. And it won't be any significant difference, I don't think. Yeah, everything's going to be dead by this point. Okay, there we go. Yeah. <clears throat> well, pretty easy target. Um, yeah, fast. Maybe, <laughs> can I say it's too easy? It's, oh, I mean, it's it's not a challenge anymore. I, I just have to now do another 100 of these. How did I get more damage? I don't know. <laughs> it might have been your little dipsy do because yeah. those uh, ballistic turrets do a fair amount of damage. I, I want to see you do this on... Um, I want to see you do this on um, on auto, and you're getting I auto. get less damage on auto than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're really good at auto. I, I am. 
<laughs> so so Ian's an Autobot. That's the word. He's an auto special. I don't know if I actually get less on. I I gotta try. How how did do I need to put on a crew? I don't know. I have. I, I'm still stocked up on. I have way too many crews. Yeah, I, I'm going to burn a demo squad doing the 139s just so I can roll for cruise again. I'm going to roll for cruise in a couple of weeks, and I'm going to yeah. have a reason to. I have an abundance of those. I might burn one up too. I bet you Mike rolled for cruise two years ago. <laughs> You've had the same one since then. Are you down to forty out of fifty? I have fifty crews. Yeah. When's the last time you used one? Uh, Lent. VXP. I I haven't used one in a while. VXP. VXP. Yeah, that's a fair answer. Okay. It's true. All right. So you st you stack and then auto. Okay. Are you auto should, I, should I should I not? Oh, I'm I'm driving this one. Okay. Okay. Just I gotta, to get I, I gotta get five minutes. I don't know what okay. happened. Okay. All right. Yeah. Because I wanted it. I was curious to see what the auto performance was because uh, I have not tried to do this on auto. It, yeah. it works great. I mean, I saw this first bit and it looked familiar, so I just autoed it. And you're right; this bit right here is added on. So, yeah. Hey, why is I didn't go in that one? It looks like I did, but I didn't. I also didn't kill it, so I have to come back. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you, you got to come, got, that's when I first started hitting them, you got to sort of skim that coastline in order to kill that one every time. That should be, I've only taken damage actually on ship number two, which is the one that was out ahead. If you look closely on the bottom right, yeah. there's only red on one ship. So that should be instant repair. All right. Sun ballistics and radioactive. Four minutes, 31 seconds. There we go. Now, instant repair and then hit it on auto. I'm curious to see how that, you know, how that works. Um, and again, um, I think most of us have a build that watches the show that uh, not the flagship because you want the extra damage from the flagship. You want the extra countermeasures from the flagship. Oh, the extra countermeasures. Uh, special? It's been a while since I looked at it. The flagship's uh, got built-in countermeasure bonuses, so you want you want the countermeasures and the countermeasure special on that one. Okay. And your evade tank, you want a normal ship. That That's the simplest way I, I, I remember it. Yeah, yeah. And so it, what you do is you put on a uh, an evade armor plate and GS3 in... Um, what are you replacing the GS3 with? Because I don't remember. One of the reload specials. Yeah, something like that. Reactive rod loaders or <laughs> auto loader four. Yeah, I think, yeah. You're dropping reactive rod. I do recall that. Yeah, and so um, it will lead out ahead, which is useful both against uh, just just slightly. Yeah, um, it helps with both these ballistic turrets. And the radioactive turrets. Um, and a portion of the radioactive turrets. Yeah. The shockwave doesn't matter, but the, this stuff right well, here just prevents you, it prevents you from getting a shockwave as well. Sometimes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or I guess what I was seeing was my shockwave. But yeah, it should prevent you from shockwaving. Yeah, that's auto. I just have to, and it's instant base repair, so I just have to do that another 100 times and village is done. There you go. Let's see what we got here. Pretty much even. 12 day. minutes. 12 minutes. Okay. All right. Wow. I don't know. It feels. Does something feel wrong that all the. Are wrong or right that all the targets appear to be auto? Well, I like it. And <laughs> yeah. that one, that particular one I just hit. 
you can drive it and you'll take less damage. Yeah. Half half the damage. But you can you can also auto it. Like it's possible, it's physically possible to complete that on auto. Whatever skill element that we had in these targets, I don't remember what that was, is not present in these ones. The it's set up to auto and not do something stupid, which I like. Yeah, well, what, what the what? Where do they call it? The bazooka. It had a real weird name. C- cam bazooka or cannibalista? Cannibal? Was it cannibalista? Or it was cannibalista. Okay, that's the one. That's the the turret that threw the cannonballs. Yeah, that that was the skill element, um, so to speak, as far as dodging those, because they did a lot, of damage. and you could outrun them through speed and and uh, driving. So, Mike, is that your? Maybe is that, it feels your mic simple. Acting weird. I don't have it off. Sorry. I, I could see why you why someone might think this target is missing an element and feels a bit too simple, but I, I just I it like it as it is. And a half minutes. <laughs> well, it sounds like you were doing coke the whole time as well. I should have been. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know what that noise was, but it did sound like that. So maybe that would uh, cut I the coke out. was probably just disgust, and I forgot to push my button. Okay. All right. So you drove it for 14 minutes. 14 um, minutes, 57 seconds to be exact. 15 minutes. All right. Um, I thought I was following the right path. And this pisses me off. All right. Well, it's Are you using your X1 fleet? Yeah, I've got the same fleet as Hefe's got who gets two minutes. Well, Hefe's yeah. probably using the autoloader. He's probably not using autoloader four. No. All right. Um, all right. If we're done with the targets, and you know, if you want to join us for the after show to watch, uh, watch Mike get uh, 14 minutes uh, on the target, you know, a little extra placement. Uh, and to think, <laughs> and to think, Derpy's bottling for less than that. It did. It did take me like three tries driving <laughs> to get it down. So yeah, okay. That was my worst effort. Uh, after about the fourth entry, so I'm I'm, de- I'm de- going the wrong way. Anyway, I'm going to mute. Yeah, doing the 170 for five to seven minutes of damage. Uh, yeah, I mean I, I don't know if they're X1 and with the build. I don't recall what the. Kick I'm sure it's X1 with that with that. Yeah, it, and it, that's awesome. Bill has got to be that's awesome, but you still got to go back to the doggone base. Yeah, but if you only need to pull out. I don't, I don't know what the, his build is, but I'm guessing you just need to pull out one ship, not all the ships, mm-hmm. then auto repair four of them, and then throw the last one in. It's a little easier than if you have, you know, 22 minutes damage and you need to go through every freaking ship. So it's, it's a, you know. I don't want to do that. Yeah. Have we suggested the make the instant repair be zero coins if every ship is under five minutes? <laughs> Uh, then I could do that. <laughs> oh, they're, they're making us click ten times instead of once. We talked about that sometime in our past. So it seems like if if everything is under five, then they ought to just let it be a instant repair. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, and then they're going to threaten to wait, take away the five minutes. So yeah, that's, yeah I guess every good <laughs> people would be pretty upset. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Rightly so. Yeah. So. All right. Let's see what's uh, let's see what we have next, uh, Mike. I can do it. Uh, all right. We have the store. Oh, this is the socialism. Yep. Yeah. On the left is not socialism. Oh crap! One second. <clears throat> that's his uh, his fuzz buster going off. No, that's a warning. That's a uh, tropical storm. A warning from uh, Elsa that popped up on my TV. Even though somehow, if you have your TV on mute, those things still come through. All righty. Um, Today's structure build tokens for 70k. The Dark Herald Harbinger. Uh, not, not the sagas. They, they, oh, they and, not, it. and not Dustros. I was wishing for no. Dustros. Who's yeah. Harold? Never mind. Who's Harold? Who are you talking about He's now? A, Harold's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no, who's, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's fine with me. Yeah, 
Um, and we're going to get into some more detail on the dark. Uh, um, All right, Herald. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And uh, the heavy explosive overlay, which is also new. Um, you probably do not need the newer ne neural network engine. Um, you've gotten that previously. Uh, the Omen Gatling gun. Um, if you probably need 13 of. Yes, yes. Yeah. If you completed everything, you should have 37 of them. You need a total of 50 um, uh, because there's 10 weapon slots, no countermeasures, and five ships. So <clears throat> take uh, in a little bit, we'll show you how to figure out how many you need, even though I'm sure most of you guys have figured it out. Uh, we have the VXP uh, tokens for the Harbinger. Um, I'm assuming you need all three. There's also kits for both the, uh, the Dark Herald and uh, the normal Harbinger available. Um, and I didn't put those out, but um, because they had some interesting things here. Um, um, Derpy Socialism, uh, mm -hmm. where you get it's 35k to upgrade your tactical lab. The only one I haven't finished is the retrofit lab. Um, and I've been spending, you know, seven days per three levels for six different ships. You add that up, it's like at least 12 days. And they're just giving you, you know, it just, you know, whatever. <laughs> no, I think it's a great move. I just wasn't expecting it. So I've been, uh, been saying things about it. It's, I think it's great though. Okay. Now, I know that somebody suggested, uh, I forget exactly where I saw it, that oh, they must be planning to do, you know, bring out something else. You, you just use these base parts on the rest of it. I don't know if that's the case. I honestly think they might be looking at the metrics of where people are at versus where they planned that the overall game population would be at in their upgrades. And are thinking, you know, we need to help move this along, get a little further because they aren't quite where we wanted them to be at this point. Yeah, uh, I think I mean, that, that's why, probably a factor. Why didn't they just do like, I, I think was, like the one under leg. the max level? I, I so think it was good for peg leg because he, he chose to prioritize the portals. And so his labs are still, you're still catching up on your labs, right? Mm, a little. Most of mine are pretty close. Okay. I think I've got, I'll take advantage of this, and, and I think I've got two that aren't there yet. But. Okay. Yeah, and I'm assuming no matter what your upgrade level, they're all the same, sort of like the TLCs, because they were they were charging you in the TLCs, and it was no matter if you were one or three levels away, which is like, I don't know, the difference between what, like seven days and nine, another eight, like 24 days, it was all the same cost. So is that socialism as well? Probably. Probably, okay. All right, but it's a great for people that want to catch up and uh, um, have a reclaimer, um, and you know, because the reclaimer, as you see, is you know, if you want to grind it out, you can get a ton of points um, and own all this stuff if you want it. Um, just spending the time, you know, autoing it um, and going back and repair and. I don't know how interesting that is as a, a, a model for the game, but um, it, it's there. It's available for everybody. Um, but that probably assumes that you are at X1 on your reclaimers. Uh, anybody out there that's got less than X1 on their reclaimers, um, how are you guys doing in regards to the... 160 slash 170 target. I'm curious to see how that's working out um, because that, that could be the sort of the downfall of, you know, Derpy's uh, cry for socialism because this could be a difficult uh, chore. For yeah, I mean, if, uh, 35K is two sets <laughs> And it, it's not going to be the easiest if you're already behind and you have a U0, U1 Everest fleet, and a U0, U1 Reclaimer fleet. So they're, they're not giving them away, them away for free. And it's not the same. I, I, I'm surprised that they, well, on two fronts, that they actually give you max level and not one below the max or anything. Yeah. And secondly, that if they were going to, to have them like this, why not just switch it to base parts being able to work? Is that uh, 
too, are those too easy to get? I, it's my assumption. Yeah. I mean, and, and the people that need to get all the Omen Gatling guns, because that's... Uh, oh, man, that's a lot of points. Yeah, that's 322.5K. So that's that's a lot of points. There are, you know... Um, but let's move on to some of the individual prizes. Oh, 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 forgot these ones. Okay, go ahead. There, oh, there's more. Jeez. Well, <laughs> I mean, there's, there's more. Uh, I think I might have to get about 200 different ones. Sorry, sorry, yeah. yeah, you can get one each of the invader plates. Um, it's what, uh, concuss explosive, concussive, and uh, penetrative. Explosive, the ballistic, and penetrative. Oh, I, I'm sorry, yeah. Cannon. C uh, yeah. stands for ballistic, cannon. not for concussive. Yes, Why? Yes, I don't know. Cannon. Cannon. Sure. Yeah. All righty. So you can get one of each, another 90K. Um, and then one more click. I forget what the last one's about. Ooh. Oh, this is how to count um, how many you guys need if you go to your lim limited blueprints. And look at the Omen Gatling gun. It should be right at near the top. Um, you want to have uh, combined, built, and available up to 50 uh, in order to put uh, the Omen Gatling gun on the flag and um, all of your Harbingers. So this is to figure out how many you need. Uh, you know, don't spend extra points if you don't need to because these are going to be available through shards shards in the raid tlc's in the future um even if you know but there's no reason to go above 50 either way so i think i'm okay with only having 40 because i'm well i built my fifth ship but it's it's just a blank now i didn't have anything that i could be building the last four or five days mm -hmm. so i built the fifth the fifth fifth uh, shell I've got three ships at U3 without spending any upgrade tokens from the from the TLC. So, okay, okay. After you were giving, I forget which person you were giving a hard time about building a fifth ship on Discord. I don't remember. Well, oh yeah, someone wanted to build build. No, they someone wanted to build five normal. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. I I build. I when I say the fifth, I mean the fourth. The fourth, uh, uh, oh, okay, the okay, fourth okay. normal, okay, ship okay, number five, okay, yeah, okay. So I, I actually built my fourth normal one when I usually don't before the first raid now, so yeah, because we had an extra, we had an extra week, so both a, uh, a normal build week, which is seven days, and then we had an extra six days associated with the uh, the FM tokens associated with it. So we basically we got an extra thirteen days this month in order to get the Harbinger um, advanced as far as we can. Um, okay, let's move on. All right, the Harbinger flag, the, uh, the Dark Herald. <laughs> Who's Herald? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's... Who's Herald? <laughs> Not to be confused with Geraldo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, six days, eight hours, which is uh, about a day or close to a day less than we saw with the the Ronin flag. Um, really? So, yeah. Hmm. Somebody must have had a good day or something. Hasn't yeah. heard the Cloudbreaker Everest. Yeah, or, no, that's not what I'm talking about. Forget I said anything. Okay, How's yeah, it compared to the uh, last ship we had, the Ravagers? Yeah, I was Speaking just... Speaking of Ravagers... I, any bets on how well they do in a level 143 per second mission target? <laughs> no, no, I'm assuming not well, but... Well, I, I'm in one right now. I see. <laughs> um, let me see. The, uh, oh, the 143, though. I, 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 I don't know. I think I, they're going to take 17 you know seconds what? of damage the entire target. Are you in a 143? Yep. And on auto, are you driving, or what's going on? Oh, I'm driving. <laughs> okay. Okay. All we right. Back uh, to that. Well, because you've, right. no, you've got no countermeasures, so I can't imagine just autoing it, letting it get pounded. So. All righty. Um, we have the Harbinger flag, which is 
uh, very similar to the normal Harbinger, which is on the right, um, across the top, uh, besides the special abilities. It exchanges the Octo Ordnance, which is the the eight explosive splash weapons that fire out. Hey, yeah, uh, pop quiz. Eight weapons times 40 range. How much is that total? 320. But the, yeah. How, how many degrees yeah, the, are in a circle? 360. So, yeah. <laughs> they have a five, uh, five degree gap because I guess they were firing twice. They were overlapping. So, I mean, if you look at it, it's, you know, we talked about that when it came out. But this is getting replaced with uh, basically the chilling touch mortar, um, which is a long range. It's just outside the range of your uh, your omen or Gatling gun or whatever, uh, and it basically provides a slow effect. It has a splash of thirty five. Um, has a slow effect, which I of point nine, which I'm assuming slows it down 90%. And the assumption that I'm jumping to is this is to slow down the riots. Um, but it's got to have, it's got a good splash. So, but the projectile speed still needs to be up there in, it, in order to provide that. It's got a firing angle of 40%, which you got to assume comes out of the front. So it's basically uh, sort of a taser to catch the uh, the riots you know you know uh, does it have a it doesn't have a how long it lasts does it no it doesn't say it. just a slow effect at point nine but doesn't give you a duration yeah so you would have to either jump to the assumption that they drop they miss that or it lasts until you kill it right one of the two Yep. So um, we also don't know if this can be buffed, if you can give it more splash or anything. My guess is no, but same thing with a normal one. It I someone told me the, the game designer who worked on the normal one. I asked and said, and he said it cannot be buffed. The normal octo ordnance weapon. Mm. I'm assuming it's true for this one. And by the way, nine minutes damage and a 143 with uh, ravagers. Very nice. Um, I'm not sure why you're hitting 143s and driving them, but you know that's 143 FM. I, both my both my Everest fleets were busy doing pillage, so I had to do uh, the forsaken mission somehow. Okay. All right. Um, and then we have um, the other special ability, which is uh, uh, we sort of expected to see elsewhere. Um, you know, because we're nor we're normally uh, used to seeing an aura that provides uh, uh, survival bonuses. It seems like they've added a bunch of them together and put it on the flagship. So, um, and it also increases the concussive damage by fifty percent. So it, it seems to be, um, it seems to be a pretty powerful flagship. Well, yep. I'll take the uh, fifty percent concussive damage bonus, the thirty k survival one I've got. However, me hundred thousand before. I don't know about that. You don't know about what? How it, much? I mean, worth? yeah, exactly. Um. Well, at, I mean, you know. I mean, I'm not going to not use it. Yeah, but as far as the X one, uh, yeah, it's going to be less powerful at X one, but at U0 or U1 or whatever level you're going to be, it's going to be fairly significant at that level, correct? I mean, it would be more significant, yeah. I'm also not at U0, so. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> the Chilling Touch Mortar is basically the way I see it is to uh, slow down the riots because the riots were quite problematic in the VXP targets because it didn't appear that we had high enough uh, projectile speed to really take them down unless they were caught up in that little grid of walls in the VXP target. So I'm assuming that's what this is there for. A lot of people were assuming this is where we're going to get the countermeasures. Um, 
we're not getting countermeasures here. There is no no countermeasures across the fleet. So, um, hey, uh, you do need three tokens for the flag harbinger. Harbinger, if anyone was wondering. Okay. That's become the normal standard. Yep. All righty. Let's move on. All right. We have a new tactical module. Um, I compare it to the heavy explosive ball work, but it's a very different special um, because it provides the heavy explosive ball work, which we saw, you know, a couple years ago, only applied to the actual building that it was equipped to. This is not something you put on turrets. This is something that fits on buildings. So your dock is where it gets the bonuses, outpost, labs, yada, yada, yada. Um, and previously it provided it just to the building was on. Now it provides most of its bonuses as an aura. Um, if you put it on the dock, it provides explosive deflection to the dock of one million. And then <clears throat> something we had, I had a little discussion about because, I mean, most people would re read this and you see um, a 60 range explosive deflection of 250K bonus effect with the dock of two million. I would assume I would add those two numbers together in regards to, but it is either or the highest number. So it's yeah, uh, the under special abilities, the defense works separate, but under special abilities, the bonus effect replaces the non specific building effect. Yeah. yeah. So I, I just cross out the word bonus. So it's the effect with doc is 2 million versus 250 for the rest of them. So, um, and it's not going to, um, it also prevents anything within, I assume, anything, I, I'm assuming this uh, stun resist is going to come in the bottom. Because who cares if somebody stuns your dock when you're getting attacked? Because that would be funny if they put it up under the top part where it only affects the dock or the building. Um, because well, if it, <laughs> if it only affects the dock itself, you may be able to not kill it with something. What? If it only if 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 they put it on that top part, yeah, and it only turned off the top part but not the bottom part. Oh, I, I'm t I'm talking about like what happens if you stun somebody's dock? Because I did have I did have a friend of mine that used to like to go in and pinch my you know he would drive in. This was years ago. He would go in and then just pinch my dock and then he would retreat just to be. What, what would you call that? It wasn't really being a dick. But that was I, bad. I, I don't know. <laughs> it was weird. I don't right? know. Yeah, weird, yeah. weird is the only thing with the mind. <laughs> yeah. Point like, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I wasn't sure if it was like a bunk, you know, that was the point where people were bunker busting people's docks. So he would go in and pinch my dock. So really didn't change anything. But you know, it, he knew I was in the game, so he, I would, he would, I would see him attacking, and all of a sudden, I see a rocket hitting my dock, and then, then I would see, oh, oh he pinched my dock. So, uh, if they stun the dock, it would be gone. Okay. Um, okay, that that is true. <clears throat> and that's not going to happen after. In, in, that's not going to happen after next week. Yeah. And I'm assuming it's going to be in the in the aura as well, similar to the ion sphere. Is it the ion sphere? Ion storm. Ion storm. Ion storm yeah, yeah. So I'm assuming it's a combination of those two specials: the heavy explosive bar bulwark and the ion sphere. So now the purpose of this, in case anyone Bad couldn't tell from the stats was making the basilisk not work. Mm -hmm. because, how, how, how much time have they spent on that? Oh, and they've been trying to kill it every month for the past two years. <laughs> yeah. Now, it, it, because it can, you said, oh, we got the, uh, we got the missile turret, Omega Executioner. That doesn't work well enough because you can put in a trencher with 2% health that has higher deflections, or I guess a Sky Saber 2 probably. And it would target that only 
Okay, and then they changed and fixed it so that Omega Executioner targets the ship with the lowest max health. Mm-hmm. Not the lowest current health, with the Basilisk. But if you put the Tier 10 or Tier 9 missile plate on there, and two or three of them in a in a subjugator, you can get enough damage off to kill the island, kill, kill the turrets on the island. Uh, yeah, and that, you know... That's, that's what they were going for, but why didn't they put this? They put it on the dock. Why not put this on the outpost? Because the dock is then not. Then you lose an outpost. Uh, then you lose an outpost. Um, tack wow. mod. Yeah, but if you if you added all those explosive deflection to the out or make it outpost or dock, you know, I don't know. You understand what I'm saying, right? Yeah, I guess I guess it would make sense to have that on on there, but it's not. So whatever. I mean, yeah, because they'll start. They'll you know, they'll put something out next month to still try and stop the basilisk. Yeah, this will this will get broken already because you can. <laughs> you can I don't. I I think this is more help than a rocket does in damage, so can't do that. But don't put your dock someplace snipeable because people will just sp- target the dock. Won't kill the dock. Will kill other things around it. If you do more than two million, the dock will have three million deflection. Everything around it will only have two. So if you do two and a half, you won't kill the dock, but you kill everything else around it, which is kind of worse. So <laughs> don't have your dock be snipeable. Yep. Alrighty. Um, yeah. Go either way. So uh, it, is, it is funny how how hard they're working to try to finally put a nail in the coffin on that thing. Yeah, it is, I just uh, try and pretend it doesn't exist, and it usually works out well until someone hits my base with it. So yeah, you know, this is the last slide. Is there anything else we should be uh, showing or talking about at this point? I don't think so. Well, the the one thing was that the we're getting the lionfish, the tier ten garrison, the raid. If you yep. have the capability to save a week or two or a day or two of tokens, and you're not going to spend them on your harbingers, it might be worth doing that. Yep. I don't know if I will or not. Depends on how um, how long it takes to put all the weapons on my on my flagship. On Harold, I think we're calling her. Um, Mike Harold, Harold's, a, Harold. Harold's a her now? Oh, well, that's what Mike said. So <laughs> okay. I believe it. Yeah, that's what you said. I, so, I said, who is Harold? I heard her. I don't know. No, I but, said, uh, who is Harold? Okay. And I, I said, know. Herald. Her, I, that's what I heard. Her, you heard the Herald. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That was after the who is Harold. Okay, just defending um, myself a little bit. I, okay, so, so so what I'm thinking at this point is um, I don't know if anybody else out there is uh, uh, getting um, 15 minutes with X1 um, reclaimers. Um, Mike, do you want? I'm to, good at uh, it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you, do you want to? Uh, do you want to drive it, and then if people are making similar mistakes, uh, you know. Do you want to critique? Give me a minute because I I just I actually just did two for like seventeen minutes, and I'm almost repaired. I, I will be happy. Oh, seventeen minutes one. each, or come on? No, 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 total. Okay, so it's not, not that bad. That's not really not out that of bad, it. but it's still not. It wasn't. It was like five minutes and something. So I said, oh shit, I'll just hit another one and then go back and repair it. Back. But I have a minute to go if you want. If you want to wait a minute, I'll be happy to be critiqued. Hey, the uh, heavy explosive overlay, number one, has the same exact artwork as the explosive overlay. But uh, well, it's unlimited. It so if you have if you have multiple docks, you can use you can use it on multiple things. Or you can use it on everything actually. But the duplicate order capped one, so won't work out too well. But you can put it on all your warehouses spread out across the base if you if you want to. You know, the other thing to use it that people might want to consider using it for is if they've got a warehouse or something sitting out on an island, one of the corners, to make a an attacker have to go get it or hope they forget and then have to rock it if they're running out of time. 
it can't, uh, 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 yeah, a bunker buster won't take on a warehouse of that on it anymore. That's really funny. That's good. That's good. I have hidden a uh, anti rocket turret behind my gray hole now on the outside. So we'll see if anyone falls for that yet. Right. I'd be so mad if that happened to me. If I hit a base, I clear it, didn't even need to use my rocket. Oh, there's a building on the outside. Good thing I have this rocket and four seconds left. They drop it. And it doesn't <laughs> and it does. kill it. <laughs> that, yeah, that'd be pretty funny. I'd be pretty mad, though. But it'd be funny. My uh, other personal gripe right now is a lot of Conqueror fleets, because we don't have all the um, all the tier 10 armor, we only have a few of the three types we do have. Mm-hmm. A lot of Conqueror fleets are still running D5EV, which has 22 and a half minute repair time per plate, which you have five of, and five ships in the fleet. It like triples your repair time using those versus using no armor. So that's my right. that's my personal gripe at the moment. I guess in six months, repair time will be back down to uh, acceptable or the goal for conquerors. But right now, it's insanely high. Maybe yeah, not insanely high, but it's it's kind of rough. There's a there's a lab uh, upgrade you can earn in this to help get it down. Obviously, with with your socialism points as you for it. Oh, is that the? Um, that's true. I guess that does, that does, uh, yeah, I don't, yeah, I, I think I don't have that one matched yet. So that's a good, good thing to pay attention to. Although I have just been upgrading all my labs instead of all my turrets. So it would have been better things to do if I knew this was coming, but. Right. I'm in a 170 if you want to. Well, have a have a walked away. So I thought I saw it come back. Okay, already. No, he got blown away by the hurricane. Ah. Well, he did get he did get an alert that Elsa was coming to visit. So I've been spending seventy thousand points twice every pillage and two million every raid to get these two day structure build tokens for something things along. Don't yeah, think when they don't I appreciate did, that. when I didn't need a hurry along anymore. Okay, Mike, you're on now. I am. Oh, okay. Yep, I want to go full screen too. I can do that. Alrighty. All right, this is the 15 minute method. Well, this is the best. <laughs> I, this is the best I can do method. Let's put it that way. That's uh, all. All we can ask for. There was, yeah, there was no real reason to swing wide. I'm not sure if it helped or hurt you. Well, you know why I do that? Because it usually targets this before these. Yeah. So if I come up from the bottom, I figure I hit the, the weapons before the... Well, you also have the splash from the thrower that... Okay. Yeah, thrower takes a bit to, hit, bit to land, though. And, and then where know. am I going? Over here? Yep. 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 And just, just target there, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There and then... I down a little bit. All right. Then I'm going to come down in here, right? Yep. Well, you don't need to go that far, but yeah. I, it, it doesn't hurt to it doesn't hurt to go that far. Yeah. That's where I go. All right. This is probably where I'm having my problem. I don't know what I'm getting hit from over here, or if I'm hitting this ring. You know, you shouldn't hit the ring because it should already be you, dead by the time you, you get target. It. Where do you target? I, I, I target the. Uh, that would work. Clicking, clicking on that turret. That's that what I was thinking work. about targeting that turret. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I I click the little edge of the water. So yeah, as long as you stay close, you should kill everything, including that little back building right there. The one that's is gonna die. Is it gonna die? Nope. See, I don't get it. Uh, Why no, don't I get it? Yeah, okay. I missed yeah. that one too. You didn't go quite close enough. Yeah, and the other thing is you don't want to stop like that. You want to keep moving because what what's happening there is uh, you're getting fired at by the uh, those ballistic um, turrets, 
And once you stop, you, you don't have your high of age ship out any, in front anymore. Okay. You're getting hit by a low of age ship. That's well, he, he only stopped after he killed them, so it was fine. Let's see what happens here. I think it's still going to be six minutes. Higher ballistic damage than radioactive. Uh, eight and a half minutes. Seven. Seven. Jeez. Eight, eight, pretty much eight. We'll, well cut your time in half, though, Mike. I mean, well, no, I, did, I was able. I actually did one for five minutes and. 15. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. You were, you were I, talking I, about I didn't 15. notice oh. where yeah, you took was... more damage. I, I I didn't notice anything off with that one. I did drive one at 15. I honestly, yes, I did. And my auto was 20. Was hey, what what, was your, what, auto? your auto was 20? Like, my auto mine was like 12. See, what, what are you me, running? Hold on, what, let me, what's different? Let me, I don't know. There's, something's got to be different. Because I have an auto with mine. I think he, I'm not sure if his build's closer to mine or your. Well, the only difference between my fleet and yours, Derpy, I think is that you are running auto loader four and I'm which makes like four percent difference in reload which is nothing yeah okay that's your x1 right that's there's one kind of measure three ballistic yeah oh this might be yeah okay keep going these the other one they all should be the same except for that last one yeah yeah that's what i'm looking for Okay, it's this one. I mean, yeah, it looks, looks fine to me. I mean, I, know, I guess I the time measures are a little... I, I mean, I had to do three of them before I got the well, lowest repair I did. So, I okay. Mean, well, well, how, how do you explain the auto, then? If he's getting twice... I think if you auto. open your 480 chests, you might... Uh, you like that, don't you? I'm a hoarder. That's pretty good. What do you have 480 chests of? You only get like one every well, other day. I just day. got a whole bunch of them this last. Oh, are the the gift chest or the other chest? I just got a whole bunch of them in the last. Because uh, I have like the, eight, 1,800 chests. In you the beach have 1,800 part. chests? The gift ones, 1,810? Oh, I don't open them. The, the gift ones from like, you know, that nobody does anymore. Yeah, I don't open them. Okay, so let's. Uh, See, I use in order to keep that ship out in front. I use waypoints the whole time. Yeah, I don't need to. It moves out in front. Yeah, it keeps it. You up. might need to. Might need to press the down arrow before they all stack up and stop. But and I also go the outside route, and I wait for that to die. Well, this is auto. Oh, this is auto. Okay, yeah. Yeah, stop giving his auto driving tips. <laughs> About to make a liar out of me. Yep. He's no, it's, it's going to be twenty. It's going to be at least twenty. See, I'm getting super supercharged there. Shockwaves. I can see where the waypoints would keep that one ship out of the tank. Yeah. Or it's not that long of a target. Yeah, it did work like close to 20 minutes. Oh, easily. It, why does it seem like it's still going down? Yeah. 1947. There you go. <laughs> and, this, and this ship and that ship will be like six minutes or so. First and last were... Uh, why, yeah, that, you're taking 50% more on auto, or in their builds are almost the only difference is the countermeasures. I don't know, huh? Well, I just discovered something that I thought I was being smart about, but on the top of that target, the building that's got the it should be buffing for damage doesn't actually appear to be linked to anything. 
as in you can't kill it or it's not buffing anything. Because it's actually it's there, but it's not actually buffing anything as far as if you hover your mouse on it, it you it used to show at least in the regular event targets which things it was actually buffing. But, in this but, case, it's not lighting anything up. The only one that does in that target is that first one that you encounter. The rest of them don't appear to impact anything. That's interesting, because I was being smart about how I was going to go about and do things. And... you got a thousand more of these than I have. A thousand more what? You say you got eighteen hundred and something gift? Yeah, gift yeah. I only got eight hundred. Yeah. You got more friends than I do. He's got more alt accounts sending himself the same stuff. <laughs> but a whole bunch—I let all my alt accounts go uh, stagnant or whatever the hell the word is for that. I only had one. I tried to tried to do a bit of stuff on. <laughs> I, I I mean sometimes this game feels like a chore how much you have to play for one account. Yeah. I cannot manage two with one having to do catch up. I still got my crews. Yeah, I you know I didn't I didn't notice that before you're right. Just the very first uh damage buff building is is buffing the three turrets on that island. The rest of them aren't at least if you can trust the indicator, aren't doing anything. Yep. And I just uh I just auto with my reclaimers. And um, I got 21 minutes. Why am I getting 12 minutes? It's because my autoloader 4. I have slightly better reload. It's got to be it. It's a big difference, though. Big time. It, it can't be that. It's anything but that. I, I've only tried it once. I just tried it now because I didn't really consider it. I didn't ever consider I would consider the Everest target to be the auto target. And this was. I mean, I've autoed like 10 of these things now. Yeah, and they've all been instant base repair. Well, I got a three, three wait. seconds off, but I'm like three minute wait for uh, for auto. Oh, well. Alrighty, I put, the link, I put the link in the right hand side in case anybody would like to join the show, uh, either that or the after show, and. Um, I don't know. Does anybody have much else to say? But uh, I, I'm sort of fearing next pillage. Um, but you know, I like pillage is usually my favorite event. Usually. If you have a hole for it, if they, uh, mm -hmm. if it's the har harbinger needed three weeks after it comes out, oh well. But uh, I think the words I'll leave you with is: make sure you are building the. Lionfish, rather than continuing to upgrade the Harbinger. Yeah, at least to some degree, I um, I do agree. Um, uh, excuse me a minute. I have to make a uh, modification. Okay. Alrighty. Um, if nobody else has much else to say, I guess we will see you all on Friday when. Um, Probably don't know any more than we know right now. That's true. Probably won't. So, any parting words? Nope. All right. Take advantage of the opportunity Pillage gives you. One, two, three, excuse me. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, we will see you all on Friday.